I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good day, good day, Jeff Gaston. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful day? I am doing great. It is very rare weather for where I'm at right now, which is Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, really? What type of weather is that? It is about 55-ish, 60 degrees, sunshine, no snow, which is pretty rare at this time of year. All right, all right. I wonder if it's because of this Caribbean guy that's passing through on the airwaves. (laughs) Yeah, probably. (laughs) He needs to keep coming through if that's the case. I will attempt my very best to do that then, Jeff. Uh, (laughs) Jeff, it's a great pleasure to connect with you. Uh, Please do tell us, uh, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? I believe it is my podcast, Left to Deaf, uh, through LinkedIn. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, That's a trick question, I'll tell you. And for those that are listening, it is a trick question. It's like, what's the thing? It fascinates me, Jeff, that... Right now, I'm speaking to you in Nebraska, one, and I'm in Trinidad and Tobago, specifically the island of Trinidad, and you're hearing my voice, like, real time. I'm not sure there's a delay. Do you think it's a delay? No, not at all. Yeah, it seems, it's, it fascinates me. And I do believe that the thing that you've been doing, your talent, and consistently doing it, or probably not consistently, but doing it, is responsible for us crossing paths at this time, which is pretty intriguing for me. I agree. So who did you learn the skill of podcasting from? Uh, it kind of happened by accident. I've always been in audio equipment pretty heavily. Uh, that is a weird journey itself. My dad was a DJ when I was a kid. He taught me how to run audio equipment, and that led me to running audio boards in my church when I was a child because they would broadcast over the radio, and I was the only one who knew how to run it. And then that led to me starting my own DJ business when I was 15 ran that for 10 years. And then after that, setting up the podcast was pretty easy because I knew the audio side and I was always interested in everybody's story because I just feel like people's life experiences are very interesting how different they are. Mm, Yeah. So the most challenging part was the conversations, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's hard in a fast paced world that we live in right now to get somebody to sit down and talk. You know, most of my episodes are at least an hour. It's hard to sit down and just talk to somebody. But if they come on a podcast, it kind of makes an environment where they actually will uh, focus on the conversation and, you know, leave, leave the phone alone for one hour and, and talk about themselves. Yeah, leave the phone for one hour. Isn't that amazing, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. So you've been doing this for quite a bit. Uh, tell us the conversations that you do have on the podcast, please. Well, the, the goal of the The podcast is to discover the amazing stories of everything and where it stems from was I worked on a job where the supervisor on a construction site basically over the term of the job explained that he only had a seventh grade education but yet had just got a a job offer for like a quarter million of a quarter of a million dollars and I thought what is your life journey to get from that to this and I decided I should start a podcast, and he was my first guest, and it's just kind of stemmed from there. Wow, 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 wow. So you've learned how to ask the questions that the people want the answers to. Yeah, the biggest thing I learned, it's hard to listen to old episodes because they're really bad to me, but I learned that I just need to let the guest go. I always felt like I needed to say like, yes, mm mm-hmm, and always be in there, but I need to let them speak and just let them talk until they're done talking, and then... I just put more gas on the flame and let them be the fire. Hmm. Well, your name is Gaston, so you could put a ton of <laughs> gas. <Yeah. laughs> Why will you continue to repeat this skill now that you've gotten into it? And as you said, you know, back then you were what you were. Right now you are what you are. Why will you continue? I think if you look at my resume, I've had so many different jobs because I've worked since I could basically walk. So I'm always interested in what everybody else does for a career and the podcast is such a great way to say you know whether a guy plays drums or he owns some kind of odd business you can say how'd you get there how do you do this why do you do it so i think that that constant interest is what's going to keep me doing it 
All right, all right. Now, where's the best place for us to connect with you and the podcast? Uh, you can always uh, go to the website, which is lefttodeaf.com. That's L-E-F-F, the number two, D-E-F-F. And Leffy is my name, L-E-F-F-Y. It's been a nickname I've had since I was a kid. And you pretty much search that on any social media, I'll come up because there's not too many in the world. <laughs> Where did you get that name from? Who gave you that nickname? Uh, my friend Ty gave it to me when I was about a fifth grader. And we've tried to figure out where that ever came from. And I don't know. We, we have yet to find out, but it just stuck. It never has never Sweet. seemed to go away. Sweet. Yeah. Well, I mean, the both names are put together is intriguing, though. Lefty tie, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, tell me one other thing that you've done, Jeff, consistently over the last three years. I uh, pretty much I do the opposite of what I've always done. And mm-hmm. the way that's just everything in my life, the way I manage money, uh, the things that I used to eat, uh, I stopped caring what other people thought about me. I just started doing the opposite, and it's just been an incredible life changer for me. Mm, how does it make you feel now? I would define it as a new form of freedom and happiness. Mm. It's just like your life kind of starts over. Mm. Sounds like content, man, in a bottle. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Uh, why would you suggest to someone that they do that, uh, you know, detach, disconnect? to reconnect. I see people now that are stuck in marriages and debts that are clearly draining the like their life of happiness and I see myself in them back when I was stuck in those situations and you just want to kind of like grab them and show them how happy they could be because their life is so short and they're going to realize it too late. Hmm. Amazing audience, you can get live here from Jeff Gaston, aka Left, right? You could check out Lefty. You could check out his podcast, Left to Death. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. Like I was listening to it just before I got on, and he was talking about his journey of um, getting to the Boy Scouts. Interesting, interesting, <laughs> interesting. Pretty amazing stuff there. Well, Jeff, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Jeff, what is your earliest childhood memory? I would say playing Duck Hunter on NES with my little brother, which is like the original Nintendo. Yeah, power reset. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) How old do you think you were? I would say probably around six years old. Hmm. Why do you think this memory is so clear and how do you see it connecting to who you are today? Back then it was a lot of work to play video games. Like you said, there was only two options, power reset, and there was no memory in those machines. The smallest amount of dust would ruin everything you just worked for. My brother and I were both huge gaming nerds growing up and I wish that it would have been more popular when we got into high school like it is now on the professional level because we probably would have pursued that. But I just have always enjoyed the challenge of trying to figure out the differences in different games. Oh, that's that's amazing. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yes, please. I love the left to death, right? So the death is 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 what? When you say in uh, in left to death in the podcast name. I, I had a guy ask me one time, kind of explain to me where Leffy comes from. And I told him and he said, oh, so you'll just be left till death. And when I was coming up with a podcast name, I thought, well, if people were constantly listening to me, maybe they'll listen to me until they're deaf. Oh, sweet. And I just felt <laughs> it goofy. Yeah. Uh, it's like the rhyme. All right. All right. Well, I do love in, in, in the memory how... First of all, it's two things that are occurring, right? While you are playing, it's the competition of what occurs um, with your brother, right? Which really is what made Duck Hunt pretty awesome as well, right? Um, Correct. But just to see, uh, well, I got to listen to the podcast again in the beginning where he was expressing, where Jeff was expressing what he had to do to get to Scouts. And again, it was definitely another competition, if you would. And it's amazing to me how that connects through your life. Now that it's a competition where you have decided not to be the same as everyone, not to care. Again, it's like the competition between you and the others and what they think and what they think you should do. And to see that that, again, has helped you define who you are uh, there's the death, right? Define, right? Define who you are to become who you are now, and not only just stop there, but to share the messages with others so that they too can have that conversation with themselves is pretty fascinating to me. I agree. 
if we fast forwarded to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? <laughs> uh, it was actually uh, Papa's Got a Brand New Bag by James Brown. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I had kind of just discovered that. I'd never seen any... I grew up in such a small town in Nebraska. It's like 3,000 people. i never seen somebody with soul and energy like that. And I, I, could, I knew all the screams and the dances and I... It was just, it changed my life. I'd never seen anything like that yeah. up till that moment. Yeah. Just moved my feet there. <laughs> 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 oh, well, Jeff, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Jeff? I'm ready. Jeff, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Not yet. Are you married? I'm divorced. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? I definitely believe in the afterlife, but I question the Bible a lot. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I would say no, because I have a very large group of friends. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Definitely not. How about three hours a week? Uh, if I do, it's just because it's on in the background as like a noise. And what about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? <laughs> it's definitely more than eight. If you, Jeff, had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who Jeff Gaston is, what would you say that is? No one knows what they're doing. And what I mean by that is that I find through the podcast or just life in general, most people are faking it until they're making it. So mm. no one knows what they're doing. I love it. Jeff Gaston, again, he's pouring a ton of gas on the flames. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your time so much. Uh, before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I just tell people, just keep going. You know, our time on this planet is so short, and the last thing you want to do is to die with regrets. And there's definitely going to be ups and downs, but just keep going through those down moments and don't stop. You know, don't let them stop you from achieving your life goals. Love it. Jeff Gaston, this was such a great pleasure. Thank you, my friend, for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.